Hi, I'm Shivu Glani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shivu Glani. Our show today is going to focus on something most people do about 25,000 times a day, but rarely think about. And that's really the point. We should be thinking about it because breathing properly is essential to good health. And research shows that making even small adjustments to breathing can yield major benefits. This is all detailed in fascinating fashion in the international best-selling book, Breath, The New Science of a Lost Art, by the award-winning science journalist, James Nestor. His previous writing includes the acclaimed book, Deep, Freediving, Renegade Science, and What the Ocean Tells Us About Ourselves, and numerous articles that have appeared in The Atlantic, The New York Times, Scientific American, and other major outlets. He also helped found a nonprofit research group to use machine learning and artificial intelligence to crack the code of interspecies communication. So James, thanks for taking the time to be with us today. Thanks for having me. So you have a fascinating array of interests and background and uh, would love to hear in your own words what got you interested in science and writing in the first place. I never set out to do this. Uh, so I never studied journalism in college or anything like that, but I've always been writing and I used to write ads and copy and that work got to be so monotonous, even though it was good for my bank account, uh, I wanted a little more. And so I started writing just out of the sheer joy of it for magazine articles and did that for years, years and years and years until I had enough magazine articles that I cut the cord from my quote unquote real job and just started doing this for a living. You know, we have many current and future healthcare professionals listening to the podcast on our YouTube channel, et cetera. What advice would you give to them, um, breathing or otherwise, about meeting the challenges of, of COVID and beyond? They're entering this workforce in a completely different environment than say a decade ago. I think for the same reasons you would tell your patients to eat well, to eat a balanced diet, for the same reason you would tell them to sleep well and to exercise, you should bring awareness of their breathing, especially if you notice their breathing in a very dysfunctional way. If you see labored breathing, if you see shoulders going up and down, if you see chronic mouth breathing, there's something wrong with that person, okay? Either that's the result of an underlying issue or that breathing can exacerbate or cause its own laundry list of issues. So just by having people become aware of their breathing, that, that seems so cliched and simple, but you'd be surprised how many people never pay attention to their breathing at all. Once you become aware of it, then you can focus on where the issue is, then you can treat it and you can fix it. And luckily, breathing is, che is cheap in, in the way that it's completely free and uh, it's very easy to do. This is asking someone to go keto or vegetarian who's been driving down BK broilers their whole life. It's a big ask, but just having them breathe in a different way and feel that change in their body is less of an ask. And I think you'd be surprised how effective it can be. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series. Please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.